Yep. Shannon, yep. how did you feel about the you, stare down? You've come around, haven't you? He needs to grow up. Mm. Skip okay. Bailey, you've been around this game a long time. Name the quarterback. Now, I'm not saying any of this. I'm saying name the quarterback that's one big with this kind of behavior. None. These kind of antics. None. I, some, I give you none, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead. At some point in time, he's going to have to grow up. Hugh was fired. But like I said, Skip, I can't verify this. Somebody told Baker Mayfield something that Hugh Jackson said. Mm -hmm. For him to continue this, Hugh Jackson has been removed from this building for, what, a month? At least a month now, Skip? And for him to carry on this kind of animosity, mm -hmm. this kind of dislike, something was said that got back to Baker Mayfield. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that I can think of that would cause him to continue to carry this on. I get it. Baker Mayfield is not the only guy that's ever played with a chip on his shoulder. Baker Mayfield is not the only guy that feels he's been wronged at some mm -hmm. point in time during his playing career mm -hmm. by a high school coach, college coach, NFL coach. Yep. He's not the first. He won't be the last. Mm -hmm. But to be this blatant and openly dis demonstrative mm -hmm. about his disdain mm -hmm. for a particular coach, I, I, don't, I can't say that I've ever seen this in my 14 years of playing and all my years of covering. Mm -hmm. So, Skip, we should be talk about, talking about the Browns have won five of their last six they games. Have. Baker Mayfield is throwing 14 touchdowns mm -hmm. and four picks. Mm -hmm. But what are we talking about? His antics. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about. Okay. We're not talking about his play on the field. We're talking about his antics. Let it go. Mm -hmm. Grow up. Mm. So, I would agree with you on any other young quarterback, any other that I've ever covered in my lengthy career, except this one. This kid is one of a kind. This kid needs a chip on his shoulder. And if it's not there, he's going to create one. Mm -hmm. He's going to sustain it way over the edge and over the line because that's what drives him. That's what drove him out of high school in Austin, Texas, to walk on at Texas Tech. And once he fell apart with Cliff Kingsbury, that's what drove him again to go walk on, live in the dorm for a year at University of Oklahoma, and walk on. Why you go to a rival? The why, 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 did, why did he stay at the Big 12? His, his father has a connection. To oh, okay, Oklahoma. okay, oh. Yeah. So you had no connection to Cincinnati, not having coached there or having coached under Marvin okay. Lewis. But okay, go ahead. I, I get your point. The point is that this kid is something. This kid... Once he gets offended the slightest little bit away, it's Jordan-esque. And I'm not comparing Baker Mayfield to Michael Jordan, but I covered Michael, and it was always he would create mm -hmm. beefs with people. He would make it up. He would it, it would be like like you know, like yeah. but he skip, had it was, delusion. Skip, about it was game, it was game to game. Mm -hmm. Once he was done with that game, he was done with it. Okay. But something happened between these two, and I think it started with the classic scene that we talked about on Hard Knocks. And I yeah. came in the next morning to our meeting. I said, we've got to do this. I'm going to unleash <laughs> on this one. It was just wrong. Yeah. And to Hugh's credit, Hugh sat right here in the seat. He owned it. And he, he said, yeah, I wish I had that one back. And was it for the cameras? He called in Baker and basically you know, announced to Baker you have won the backup quarterback job over Drew Stanton. It was shameful. You, I mean, you dude, can't, that, that'd be humiliating. The dude ain't come here to compete for no backup okay. job. He's the number one yeah. overall the number pick. Number one overall pick. And you knew it. I knew it. And Hugh knew it. And I think Hugh was sort of trying to flex his muscles for the hard knocks cameras because his two coordinators were flexing theirs and out flexing you. Skip, something was said. Something had to be said in private. You know, coaches talk amongst coaches. In coaches' meetings and and, and some skip some, there's no way. Come on, Skip. You've been around this game. We've never seen a quarterback. Hugh just didn't buy completely into Baker yeah. from Mick, the start, Mick. and Baker did not love it. So he's going to carry the torch for that a long way, and he carried it through two. They just beat Cincinnati twice, right. which is no small achievement right. for the Cleveland Browns, right? Right. right. And so he's going to rub it in, and then after the game, he's going to shrug and say, "Who me? I don't know what you're talking about." No, 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 about. no. There wasn't after no game. Yeah. He did that during the game. So why all of a sudden? No, but after the game, when he's asked yeah. about it, he yeah. shrugs like, "I don't know what you're talking about." He knows exactly what exactly. you're talking about, and he still hasn't let it go because he's not built that way. He's a little undersized. He's six feet and something tall, six feet and a half inch tall. You'll win a few couple and, of games. Yep. But I just don't believe you can win big with that kind of with that those yeah. kind of antics. The, the only quarterback I ever saw do this was Jim McMahon to to a certain degree, but not to this degree. Right. Right. Correct. Yeah. I agree. 
Yeah. But Skip, let but it look, go. Look, look what Baker did at the University of Oklahoma. He got mad at, at a TCU kid for daring to run across the back line of his end zone during warm-ups and just drilled him in the head. Mm -hmm. He got mad at lowly Kansas, the doormat of the conference, in the pregame coin flip because they wouldn't shake his hand, and he went berserk. Why didn't he get mad at Clemson? <laughs> Why didn't he get mad at Georgia? Mm. That's well, what he should have get mad at. Don't get yeah. mad at Kansas well, and TCU. Well, Why was, didn't he get mad at Clemson? He was taking it out on Georgia in the first half. He threw for 200 Trying. yards. Yeah. I know you love that one. First half. You love that game. Yeah. Now, Skip Bayless tell me he prides himself. He loved guys that played yeah. big and big moments yeah. for games. Well, he got hurt in the second half. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Yeah, pride. Mm. His feelings. Mm. Them dogs. It's not Hugh, though. Yeah. Like you said, Skip, he's going to find one more thing. He'll just find That's another thing. one. He finds he'll, someone He'll be, be mad, mad at somebody Doesn't somewhere somehow. Let me ask you a question. A yeah. You don't think Brady has that in him? Yeah, that's psycho He keeps it to around. himself, but he's not going to stare anybody down during the game. Thank he's you. not going to point any fingers. Yep. Just let me know. Like yep. I said, he'll win a few okay, games here and there, mm. but let me know when he wins something big. Mm. Okay. Well, well coming he just up. started. I mean, he's okay. You know, he's won five he of his last six. Let me know when he wins something big. Are you and not impressed so far? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, I thought he was playing well. Yeah. And we should be well. talking about his his play on the field. Is he the best not, of the rookie quarterback? No, no Sam Darnold. Oh, I'm, not really, I'm not willing to concede uh, that. Sam Darnold. Did you see Sam Darnold? Did you see Sam Darnold yesterday? Yeah, just because it was against what's the last of Okay. okay.